Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitenj Pandey and in this video we will talk about types of investigation. There are four main types of investigations performed by digital forensic specialists. The first three are broadly similar in the activities they involve but differ in terms of the legal restrictions and guidelines imposed as well as the type of digital evidence and form of report. The first type is criminal forensics. The largest form of digital forensics and falling under the remit of law enforcement or private contractors working for them. Criminal forensics is usually part of a wider investigation conducted by law enforcement and other specialists with the reports being intended to facilitate that investigation and ultimately to be entered as expert evidence before the court. Focus is on forensically sound data extraction and producing report or evidence in simple terms that a layman will understand. Second type is intelligence gathering. This type of investigation is often associated with crime but in relation to providing intelligence to help track, stop or identify criminal activity. Unless the evidence is later to be used in court Forensic soundness is less of concern in this form of investigation. Instead, speed can be a common requirement. The third type is electronic discovery or e-discovery. Similar to criminal forensics, but in relation to civil law. Although functionally identical to its criminal counterpart, E-discovery has specific legal limitations and restrictions usually in relation to the scope of any investigation. Privacy laws, for example, the right of employees not to have personal conversation intercepted and human rights legislation often affect the electronic discovery. And the fourth type is intrusion investigation. Intrusion investigation is instigated as a response to a network intrusion. For example, a hacker trying to steal corporate secrets. The investigation focuses on identifying the entry point of such attacks, the scope of access and mitigating the hacker's activities. Intrusion investigation often occurs live, that is, in real time, and leans heavily on the discipline of network forensic. 